Welcome to class. Today, we're doing a 15 minute lower body routine. All you need is a set of moderate or heavy dumbbells and a mat. We'll be completing two blocks with three moves each for two rounds, 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between. A warm up band pull down is not included, so please make sure to do this on your own. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. The first exercise, we will not need weights, so you can place them to the side if you have them. We're combining a prisoner alternating reverse lunge to a good morning. A good morning, you're hinging, keeping that back nice and flat, feeling the hamstrings, coming up, squeezing the glutes. So again, it's reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and then a good morning. 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. Let's begin in 10 seconds. All right, ready to do this? We'll start with the reverse lunge. So hands behind, open up those elbows. Three, two, let's go. Step back, step back, step those feet out wide. They're not wide, but shoulder width apart, we'll say, for the good morning. And down. Now, if you need to, you can definitely shorten this range of motion and do a partial good morning instead, just enough to feel that hamstring stretch. Very nice. So back pushing off with that front heel, keeping that chest lifted and proud, even when you hinge forward. Very nice. About 12 seconds. And then for the next exercise, I am going to hold one of my heavier dumbbells. Good. Three, two, walk it out. 20 second recovery, grab one. All right, I'm gonna hold it horizontally. Squat, knee, knee. Squat, knee, knee. Weights are optional on all the exercises today. Again, you decide what, uh, how heavy the weight is as well. All right, let's start with the squat. Ready? Sink nice and low. Down, knee, lift. So really tightening that core. I'm sinking a little bit lower for the squat. Squeezing the glutes on top. Not feeling that, please shorten that range of motion. And you can do a partial knee up instead. Down, lift. Adding that extra twist incorporates some obliques. So if you like to do that, go for it. Ooh, 15 seconds. One more move left. And I'm gonna pick up that other weight. Eight seconds. You're doing great. Sink low in those heels. Three, two, grab your other weight. Good job. Final move, block one. Palms in front, lateral lunge, Romanian deadlift. Lateral lunge, Romanian deadlift, nice and slow. All right, six seconds we start. Make sure there's room on both sides of you. Shoulders back, start with the lateral lunge. Here we go, down, up, hinge. Stretching out those glutes and hamstrings and then squeezing those glutes on top. So I like to think for um, deadlifts, you're shifting the weight towards the front of your feet, keeping the knee soft, shifting back towards your heels on the way up. Good. Like always, you can shorten this range of motion like that. Take it here, same thing other side. Whew. But if you can, make it big, go for it. Awesome. Extended recovery on the other side, three, two, and stop. I'm really only gonna give you about 30 seconds since this is a short workout. 15 minutes goes by super fast, but this is great if you're short on time or if you wanna stack this workout with maybe another 15 minute routine, like a 15 minute upper body or core or maybe a cardio workout, it's a nice way to get a full, full, workout, full body workout in. All right, back to the top. Said it was gonna be short. Prisoner reverse lunges, back, and a good morning, hinge forward. 45 seconds, going in 10. All right, give yourself a little bit of space, hands light behind. Open up those elbows, chest lifted. Three, two, lunge it back first. One and two, and forward, again. Woo! Going into the second round, can we make it better than the first? Now that we know the movements, we know what's coming, we can really perfect it and make it even better and more effective. Good. Listen to your body. You know what you're capable of. Good job. 
back, back. Awesome, we have about 12 seconds left. Maybe get like two more of each in. Up on deck, squat to the knee lifts. I'm gonna grab one of my dumbbells. Four, three, two, walk it out, grab a weight. Remember, we're holding it horizontally, going into that deep squat, and then driving the alternating knees. You can add a little twist in there if you'd like. That's always a good option. Okay, three, two, sink those hips back. Knee twist, knee twist, good. Take this squat, maybe an inch, start with an inch deeper than what you would normally do. See how it feels, and if that feels all right, take it down another inch. Good, ooh, lift, twist. Plant the feet firmly down before you hit that squat. Down, up. Good job. Woo. Almost there, one more move left in about eight seconds. We'll grab its weight buddy <laughs> and do those lateral lunge remaining deadlifts. Good, and stop. Grab the other weight. Final move, block one, lateral lunge. Remember we hinge forward, let those weights just kind of fall in front, but don't let those shoulders round for your deadlift. All right, final move. Three, two, lunge at first. And then down, squeeze on top. Nice and slow. Everything is strength today. So we don't need to rush through it. I'd rather you not rush through it. Form over speed. Lunge. Down. Feel the difference between this Romanian deadlift and the good morning we did a few minutes ago. Really feeling that stretch in those hamstrings and glutes. Feeling that pull of the weights hanging in front of you. Woo. Good. Stay there. Four, three, finish the movement that you're on and come up. Grab a drink and get your mat. Block number two, we're on the floor. You actually do not need your weights. These are all gonna be body weight movements. Okay, starting out, we're on our backs. And with this first one, it's going to be a hip bridge. Hip bridge that we know we've done before. So engage the core, tuck the pelvis under. We lift, we're gonna do a lateral tap out for four. Three, two, one, so let's on each side. Bring it down and then we'll do it again. Four lateral tap outs. When you're doing that tap out, try to keep the hips nice and steady. Because we're going laterally, they're gonna wanna do this shifting thing. Try your best to keep it nice and centered. All right, let's go in 10. So flip on your back if you're not there already. When you're ready, upper body relax, engage the core. Let's do it, lift the hip, tap out for four, three, two, drop down, come right back up. Now you can take your hands here, lift it up, trying to keep it nice and steady, maybe using your hands as a guide where you don't want your hips to shift outside of that. Anything that helps you stay steady. Core engagement, Whew. squeezing the glutes, good work. You're doing on time, 10 seconds. Awesome, we are staying on our back for your next move in a variation of froggers, you know froggers. Three, two, all right, stay on your back. I'm gonna turn my mat a bit so you can see my legs. We're going to extend those legs up, frogger position, feet together. They open up the knees, we tap in, we open, we press up. So it's open, in, out, press. Really trying to get those knees to touch. Flex the feet and Let's go. Down, squeeze, open, press. Adductor movement, inner thighs. Think of your feet like a hinge. They're staying glued together. Woo. And you're trying to get those knees to tap in and then even, maybe even touch when the legs extend. Down, in, open, got this 15 seconds 
Stay there, stay there. I know you're feeling it because I am. Woo! Love this one for inner thighs. Beautiful, three, two, and one. Flip it over in a tabletop position. We're doing some fire hydrants with a side kick, alternating every time. So opposite those inner thighs, now we're working those outer thighs and glutes. All right, final move. Three, two, here we go. If this bothers your wrists, you can definitely take it to your elbows, or you can put your hands and fists and go on your knuckles, and that'll help keep your wrists in line. So go where it's comfortable. And also, this can be done in a standing position. I think we've done that in the past. Woo! Up, kick. That extra little kick really intensifies this traditional fire hydrant. Good. Up, extend. And kind of just like we did earlier, we're trying not to let those hips shift too much while we're doing the movement. Good. Four, three, two, maybe one more. Woo, sink back, stretch, take a breath. Let it out. Come on up, grab a drink, take about 30 seconds, and let's finish with round number two. I found my way. I found my way. All right, we're going back to the top, the hip bridges with the four lateral tap outs. Now we know what to do. Let's perfect that movement, make it bigger, make it better, right? What's nice is everything is down on the mat for the remainder of this routine. All right, let's start in 10. Get on your back, hip bridge position. Squeeze the glutes, tighten the abs, and maybe get this going now. When you're ready, lift the hips, and let's tap. Here we go, four, three, two, drop down. Don't let the abs um, come up. Keep them engaged the whole time. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, lift. Very nice. Woo! You got it. Lift. Are we keeping those hips steady? Remember, you can use your hands as a guide. Stay within the parameters. <laughs> Lift. Good job. Check your time. Ooh, almost there. Five seconds left. Give me one more. Three, two, and stop. Maybe just hug those knees in. Froggers, quick review with the knee press in and out. I'm gonna stay here since I showed you the uh, other angle last time. Now that we know what to do, when you're ready, legs are up, feet are flexed. Four, three, two, here we go. Feet stay together, open up those knees, clap them, open, press the knees together. Yes. We've got it, we've got it. In, out. Woo, so amazing. You're doing fantastic. Down, in, out, press. Good job. Only one more move after this, those fire hydrant kicks. All right, last 12 seconds. Let's get these last few in, super strong. If you haven't gotten your knees to tap in yet, try to do it now. Out, tap, open. Three, two, and hug it in for a moment. One, two, three, rock yourself up. Quadruple or tabletop position. Fire hydrant, kicking that leg out, bringing it in and down, alternating sides. This is it, final exercise for your lower body routine. Get into this position, hands, elbows, knuckles. Let's do it. Up and kick, up and kick, yes. Woo, squeezing those glutes and outer thighs, and breathe. Up, out. Nice job, everybody. You're doing fantastic. Hang in there for another 20 seconds. I know it's in you. I know those glutes are burning. We're gonna take this all the way to the end, not stopping early. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and stop. Oh, sink back, take a breath, inhale. Exhale out. Slowly come on up. Please make sure to stretch for a few minutes um, when we're done with this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Allison and I'll see you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.